<laughs> so we are at week seven, week seven of my 12 week keto reset journey. Uh, it's more of the same this week, so it's going to be short and simple and sweet. Today I'm giving you guys my updated measurements at the end of the video. Um, just to kind of recap how this week went, just to review the, the week, it was a pretty good week. I actually, um, again, stuck to my plan of doing keto. I stuck to my working out on my Peloton bike, and I also have a, a very cheap treadmill um, that's actually a little dangerous because now it's getting to the point where it, the belt will actually kind of like stop sometimes as I'm jogging and then I'll like jolt and like flip off or whatever. Um, and so I'm thinking about upgrading my treadmill just because I don't want to die. Um, I think that's a good reason to upgrade. Uh, I don't have the money for it right now, so I'm going to kind of hold off on that and just take it easy on the treadmill. But uh, don't worry, I'm not going to do anything that's going to cause me to be injured or or die I guess what I'm trying to say okay so um going back over last week looking at my uh, very messy food log but um again what I'm doing is I'm tracking the food the carb and the calories just to get a sense of um you know, am I in, how much does it take to remain in ketosis and um, how many calories uh, am I burning each day versus consuming and is that making a difference in terms of the progress um, of my weight loss? As you saw um, with my opening um, post-it note calendar countdown thing, uh, the note that I made for myself for today especially was don't weigh yourself. And, and again, the reason for that is because psychologically, if I got on that scale and it was heavier, for whatever reason, I would lose all hope. Um, so I'm weighing myself only every once every three weeks, as, as you guys know, if you've been following this journey so far. Um, if you're new, welcome. I, I never say that. Uh, so maybe I should start saying that in my intro. You guys on YouTube are so much more polished than I am. So welcome if you're new, I, I do, I, I welcome you. Okay, so I made the decision to go get me some Aldi zero carb bread because uh, a new Aldi opened up nearby. And the day I got it, I ate like four slices of it because it's supposedly zero carbs, got knocked right out of ketosis. Now. I was gonna try to do some sort of science experiment where I was gonna like make sure on, I think it was Sunday, I was gonna be like, okay, don't eat any carbs and only eat the Aldi bread. Like, so make sure that you're for sure in ketosis and then eat the Aldi bread and see what happens. I didn't end up doing that. And I think actually, I, I'm still not convinced that the Aldi bread kicked me out. Um, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna stop eating it because that bread is just so good. And it's only 35 calories per slice. And I immediately, like it, it only took a couple of hours to get back into ketosis. So honestly, I'm not sure if it was the bread or if it was um, hormones, because I was, I was kind of on my period. And so it, it's always like difficult to figure out, like, is it, is it because of, of that? Is it because of hormones? I tried to research like ketosis and being on your cycle. And there are women who, when they're on their cycle, they, they just get kicked out. So, uh, you know, kicked out of ketosis. So that could have been it. Um, either way, I, I feel confident in my choices to eat that Aldi bread. Cause then you just feel like a normal person again, like eating a sandwich for lunch. Like I'll pack that for work and then nobody has to comment on like oh why aren't you eating or what why are you not eating the rice why are you not eating the potatoes here there was a lot of work events and thankfully there was enough variety for me to just stick to keto and not have anyone say anything um but there was like this cater this we had this giant event and it was all this was on monday and it was mexican food so like I couldn't eat the rice, I couldn't eat the beans, I couldn't eat the chips, I couldn't eat like the, you know, all, all the good stuff basically. But I ended up making like a giant salad and I took a lot of chicken, 
to make up for the fact that I'm not going to eat this other stuff. Um, and they also had shrimp, so I, I could eat that. Um, yeah, there, there was another work event last night and that was like the best appetizers you can imagine if you're not doing keto. It's like breaded chicken that's like sesame crusted and it was just like so delicious and I couldn't eat any of it. Um, I will say I'm a little petrified. I, I'm going to do a dinner uh, at my boss's house this upcoming Monday and I told her that I am not eating carbs right now. I don't, she's a little older, so I don't think she understands what it even means to be doing keto, but I don't want to make a big deal of it. And, and if you can relate to this, like, please just like stop the video right now and comment below. Like, how do you, how do you deal with like explaining to people that you are on a health journey? And, and all they hear is, oh, you're on a diet? Like, or, oh, I'm hosting dinner and you're not gonna eat my pasta? She's Italian, so chances are there's gonna be pasta, there's gonna be bread, there's gonna be dessert. And I'm, I'm actually like, I'm, I'm thinking I'll, I'll come up with some kind of excuse as to not eat it. Like maybe I'll pretend like I have a stomach ache or something. Like I really, I hate this stuff. This is, this is the part of like diet culture that I think is a remnant from my childhood where it's like, you have to, you, people make you feel weird for wanting to be healthy. And I, I'm committed to doing this. So there's no chance that I'm going to just eat pasta to appease my boss. Um, so I, I, the other strategy is maybe I, I get a plate of food and I pretend like I'm eating it. Uh, no, that's worse. Any, if you have any recommendations, please let me know. Okay, so my measurements, let's just get right to it now. My measurements were good, they went down again, so that's exciting. To remind everybody, I wrote this down. Um, so I took my measurements two weeks ago and uh, did not take them last week, but the previous measurements uh, were, my waist was 35.6 and now it's 35.4, so that's a little bit of a loss. Um, and then my hips were 45.3 and, or no, they're now 45.3. They were 45.7, I think. Long story short, it's just measurements. They're going down, they're not going up. Um, so I'm really happy about that. And um, my clothes are fitting better. My pants are feeling looser. Um, I, I still have that keto energy, so that's good. Uh, so yeah, so I'm chugging along and i um, gonna, really really like i don't know how it's gonna feel to make it to week 12 but i'm so excited to get to that point and just to again say that i i did something i committed to something and um no matter what the results are i'm just so proud of myself for doing it so thank you all so much for being here and i will see you again next week for another measurement update